Students and teachers across the metro have been back in the classroom for at least a week now, many getting back into the routine of the school year. And while it's a familiar pattern, not everything is the same. KSHB 41 News reporter Lily O'Shea Becker talked with two longtime educators to learn how things have changed and why they come back year after year. Close. There's a W. W. R. Oh, yes, it's an R. You can see the energy Lynn Sheffield brings to her Olathe third grade classroom. It's her 34th year in the profession. I love that I have this amazing opportunity to have a positive impact on students' lives each year. Fellow educator Marilyn Mayberry, who has been a paraeducator in Olathe for the last 19 years, finds the same motivation. The kids are what bring me back every day because they're so special. And this job is just so rewarding because you can see the little changes. Over the years, both Lynn and Marilyn have seen changes in education from safety. Back in the day, I didn't even have a door, so we had pretty much open classrooms. To technology. For some of our kiddos that struggle socially, we have a lot of like apps we can use to help them with those situations. I'm just learning. It's okay. No worries. With experience comes wisdom and both have advice for those beginning their careers as educators. I would just say to be patient. Give yourself grace. Both Mrs. Sheffield and Mrs. Mayberry shared with me this is not their last back to school run. They'll both be back in the classroom next year. Reporting in Olathe, Lily O'Shea Becker, KSHB 41 News.